Right, so I went to an athletic school, um, you know, in a boring school, and you know, their rolling was viewed quite positively, as well as you know, sprinting, you know, um, track and field events, um, and um, <clears throat> you know, like for being a runner there, I got, you know, that's where I got into running, and um, you know, that's where I got fit, and um, that's where, um, you know, I was, you know, I received a lot of admiration and respect, and you know, from from an encouragement from from people in the school, because you know, as a hard worker, people kind of admired that. And, um, you know, 2015, I left, I did the Leaving Cert as an 18 year old and I moved into my mother's house in Carrick Mines full time. She just, she moved in there two years previously, but because I was at boarding school, I wasn't really there that much. And, you know, my parents were separated. So I was, I was actually spending more time at my, at my dad's house in those days um, before I got into a row with my dad. Um, so, um, what was I going to say? Um, I moved in there, um, you know, not, not, not being aware of what lo lo lay ahead. I assumed that running there would be viewed as positively as it was in, in my school. And that was a bit naive of me. I, I had no idea. And looking back, I feel like uh, I don't blame myself for not knowing this. You know, like nobody ever told me that, you know, running was viewed negatively in this kind of area. And, um, you know, it all started off, you know, like started off this strange old man in my area. You know, he, he'd be walking past me on the street and he'd be ooh, looking into space, trying to avoid making eye contact. And I just felt that it was a bit rude, a bit un very unfriendly. Um, but I never thought it was anything personal. I just thought he was a very rude, grumpy old man. Um, you know, I found out that he just hated me. Eventually, I found out that he hated me for being a distance runner. I made a video about this. It's a long story. Also, Tesco worker saw me out running one day. He gave me an angry look. And he started giving me angry looks every time I walked into the store. Lollipop lady giving me weird looks. Uh, the postman staring at me as if he thought there was something wrong with me. And, um, you know, eventually giving me... Um, angry looks and this, the, the, the old woman also used to give me angry looks loads of loads of people you know I think for the most part people kind of ignored me but you know I think those five people kind of like spread they kind of let me realize gave me the message that my running was viewed negatively and people hated me for being a runner and um, you know so obviously looking back I think that's very unfair um, but what, what advice would I give to myself actually I'll tell you what did I do to um, uh, address the situation i just kept running you know i just kept running i was like you know like oftentimes instead of going up to trinity athletic club i'd go and train in my local area and i'd be like right i'm going to show these people that i'm not i'm not afraid of their opinion i don't care about their opinion i'm going to just keep running and show them oh, i'm not a quitter you know and they they you know their their pressure their pressure to to make me quit isn't working but looking back um i feel like that didn't really do me any good there's nothing to be gained from doing that i uh, don't fight with scumbags just avoid them that's my that's my advice um, you know, you're, you're far better off and, um, you know, I was just a bit young and naive back then and I've learned, I've learned my lesson. Um, you know, my advice will be, um, move out, just get away from there, get away from those people. Just, you know, start, you know, handing out CVs, look for a job. I don't, um, forget about college. I, I wish I didn't go to college. Um, and get a job, um, start working the job, save up money and then move out or get away from, Get away from those people because you know it's it's not good to have tox to be surrounded by toxic people like it it will affect you it'll drive you insane it drove me insane and I'm glad I'm away from those people but I still get flashbacks to those days and you know it does put me into a bit of a bad mood and um you know would I run early in the morning not to be seen or would I try or would I cycle up the six mile hilly run hilly road to get to um my athletics club so I'm not running in the local area so people in my area can't see me out running. No, I wouldn't bother with that. That's a bit extreme. I'd just say, right, just tr while you're in the area, just train for now, but um, make it, make sure it's only a short term thing. Make sure you get your ass out of there and um, start, uh, you know, move, move, move somewhere else and just start training there, you know. And um, that's the thing. I think they're just very judgmental and snobby around that kind of area. Um, I, I prefer to live in a more working class down to earth kind of area where people are less snobby and judgmental and they kind of accept you for who you are.